The Paso del Norte Health Foundation is spearheading a volunteer effort to prepare El Paso for any health care crisis, including COVID-19. It's called EP MedCorps. And joining me now to talk about the program are Emily Hartman. She is the executive director of FIX. That is the Paso del Norte Health Information Exchange, who's heading up the effort to create EP MedCorps. And also nurses Jackie Vera and Jennifer Ariola, who are also involved with FIX and have been key in putting together EP MedCorps. Ladies, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having us. Well, let's start um, with Emily. Why did you feel that creating this volunteer effort was important? Well, we established EP MedCorps with our partners at the Paso del Norte Health Foundation and El Paso County Medical Society in Border Rack so that we as a community could be ready in the event that there was a surge of COVID-19 that caused a capacity issue in our healthcare system. So we wanted to be prepared as a community. Jackie, what kind of volunteers are you specifically looking for in this program? Um, so we're open to all volunteers. Of course, we're looking for those with clinical backgrounds, such as physicians, nurses, phlebotomists, um, people with hospital experience, but it takes um, a full team to give safe patient care. So we're also looking for non-clinical volunteers that just want to help their city. Um, there's areas to help out in data entry, um, IT, uh, maintenance, and food services. So if you'd like to help your city, we um, encourage you to visit our website to find out more information. And what kind of time commitment are we looking at here for volunteers? Right now, there's no specific time commitment. This effort is going to be if and when our local hospitals do need this effort. So for right now, we're just gathering the volunteers' information, and when it's needed, we'll go ahead and reach out with more information. Emily, how do people sign up for this? People can sign up by going to our website at fixnetwork.org, our social media, which Jackie can provide those handles. Sure. Uh, we're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at EP MedCorps. Um, across all three of them, it's E P M E D C O R P S. And there's a link to sign up at each of those websites. Now, I know uh, when you're talking about people volunteering for this, what about uh, retired or inactive physicians or other healthcare providers to volunteer? We welcome everyone, um, retired and clinicians, anyone who has practiced, stopped practicing, is from another state or from another country, we, we welcome all volunteers. All right, and the recruitment number again is 242-0676. You can also email epmedcore at fixnetwork.org or as they mentioned, you can also go on Facebook page and learn more about it. And I want to give my thanks again to Emily Hartman, Jackie Vera, and Jennifer Ariola for giving us the information on becoming a MedCorps volunteer. Thank you. All right. Let's